Hi friends, today we are going to look at principal steps in sample survey. The principal steps involved in planning and execution of the sample survey are the following. Objective of the survey, defining the population to be sampled, the sampling frame and sampling unit, data to be collected, degree of precision required, preparation of questionnaire, method of collecting information, non-respondent, selection of the sample, organization of field work, pre-test, summary and analysis of data, information gained for future survey. Objective of the survey. In a sample survey, the objectives of the survey must be clearly stated. If the statement of the objective of the survey is not clearly given, the data collected will not be sufficient for the required purpose. Generally, in survey, a investigation team is not quite clear in mind as to what they want and how they are going to use the result. Some of the objectives may be immediate and some far reaching. The investigator should care of these objectives with the available resources in terms of money, manpower and the time limit required for the availability of the survey. Defining the population to be sampled. Before collecting the data, the enumerator should be given the necessary instruction about the characteristics of the population. The population from which sample is chosen should be defined in clear and unambiguous terms. The geographical, demographic and other boundaries of the population must be specified so that no ambiguity arises regarding the coverage of the survey. The sampling frame and sampling unit. Before selecting the samples, population must be subdivided into different units known as sampling units. The list of all such sampling units has to be prepared before conducting the sample survey. The list of all the sample units so obtained is called sampling frame. The purpose of the sampling frame is very important in sampling. Once the sampling units are defined, one must see whether the sampling frame which is a list of all the units in the population is available. The construction of the frame is often one of the major practical problem since it is the frame which determines the structure of the sample survey. The list of units have to be carefully scrutinized and examined to ensure that it is free from duplicity or incompleteness and are up to date. A good frame is hard to come by and only good experience helps us to construct a good frame. Data to be collected. It is well to verify that all the data are relevant to the purpose of the survey and that no essential data are omitted. There are frequently a tendency to ask too many questions, some of which are never subsequently analyzed. An overlong questionnaire lowers the quality of answers to important as well as unimportant questions. In order to obtain the objectives, the statistician who is in charge of the investigation has to decide first the type of the data to be collected. Degree of precision required. The results of the sample survey are always subject to some uncertainty because only a part of the population has been measured. Because of errors of measurement, this uncertainty can be reduced by taking larger samples and by using superior instruments of measurements. But this usually costs time and money. Consequently, the specification of degree of precision wanted in the results in an important step. Preparation of questionnaire. The investigator must be given the necessary instruction about the way in which the questions are asked so that the maximum information is obtained in the sample survey. A questionnaire or schedule has to be prepared in such a manner that questions are simple, logical and direct. Always the nature of the data depends upon the manner in which data is collected. Therefore, the investigator have to be given incentive training for the collection of the data successfully. Third of collecting information. The two methods commonly employed for collecting data of human populations are first one interview method. 
an interview is a qualitative research method that relies on asking questions in order to collect data. Interviews involve two or more people, one of whom is the interviewer asking the questions. There are several types of interviews, often differentiated by their level of structure. Second one is mailed questionnaire method. Mailed questionnaires is a tool of research where an answer sends his answers through mail to the researcher. It is administrated by mail to designated respondents under an accompanying cover letter and it is written by mail by the respondent to the research organization. Whether the data should be collected by interview method or mailed questionnaire method has to be decided keeping in view the cost involved and the accuracy aimed at non-respondents. Quite often, the data cannot be collected for all sample units. This incompleteness called non-response. Non-response tends to change the result. Such case of non-response should be handled with caution and in order to draw unbiased and valid conclusion. Investigator will have to be devised to deal with those who do not furnish information. Selection of the sample. If each observation is selected randomly, then sample will naturally reflect the quality of the population. The selection of the sample involves the problem of determination of size of the sample with reference to the size of the population. Organization of the field work. How to conduct the survey. How to handle business administrative issues. Providing proper training to surveyors, procedures, plans for handling the non-response and missing observations, etc are some of the issues which need to be addressed for organizing the survey work in the field. The procedures for early checking the quality of return should be prescribed. How to handle the situation when the respondent is not available should be clarified. The enumerators should be selected within the great care. Enumerators should be given intensive training and proper guidance for doing that duty properly. Their work must be properly supervised. Pre-test. From practical point of view, a small pre-test that is trying at the questionnaire and field method as a small scale has been found to be immensely unequal. It always helps to decide upon effective method of asking questions and result in the improvement of the questionnaire. Moreover, it might disclose certain problem and troubles that will otherwise be quite serious on a large scale survey, such as the time or cost may far exceed the available money and stipulated period. Summary and analysis of data. The analysis of data may be broadly classified into four heads. Scrutiny and editing of data, tabulation of data, statistical analysis, reporting and conclusion information gained for future surveys. Any completed sample is potentially a gate to improve future sampling in the data. Then it supplies about means, standards and nature of variability of the principal measurement about the cost involved in getting the data. Things never go exactly as planned in the complex survey. The alert sample learns and recognize mistakes in execution and to see that they do not occur in the future survey. Hope you understood the principal steps in sample survey. Thank you.